Hey guys, it's Sam with Tennis Express, and in this video we wanted to do something a little bit different. I've got a special guest, it's Alex Feldman, the National Tennis Manager of Diodora. He's got some great information for us on the three big shoes. He's going to share it with us today, and let's get started right away with the Torneo. Thanks Sam, thanks for having me. So this is the new Blue Shield Torneo. This uh, for 2022 on tour support. This is the shoe that Alejandro Davidovich Fokina wears. Um, it's got great cushioning in the forefoot with our patented Blue Shield cushioning technology that runs all the way up through the ball of the foot. It's got a great outsole here that's super durable with uh, some really good reinforcements on the upper right in the heavy usage area. So right in the bunion window, right on the toe cap, and then right on the lateral side here. Um, you know, in terms of, of weight, this is, this is going to be able to handle a, a, a bigger player, somebody that's really just looking for an overall comfort supportive shoe and uh, a really, really durable option. Can you talk a little bit about Blue Shield technology and Diodora in general? I mean, you guys are pretty innovative. You've even got stuff going on in like the marathon category as well. Like I've worn the Blue Shield and I find it really, really comfortable on a part of my foot that gets sore from time to time, that metatarsal area. And I feel like the Blue Shield does a really good job of sort of cushioning the, the hard court blows that can happen. Absolutely. And so the way Blue Shield works is it's all of these tiny little silicone, uh, silicone cones, and they adapt to your foot structure and your foot strike. So, you know, if you're just standing around in it, your foot's going to sink into it a little bit more. Okay. As you're getting up on the ball of your foot, you know, running to a shot at the net, it's going to be a little bit more firm and supportive and uh, push you and propel you forward. Now, it's got close to a zero compression set, so the cushioning won't actually ever break down. Just the foam and the rubber around it will. Oh, very interesting. So as your shoes start to wear out, it's not the blue shield right. that's it's, wearing out. Very interesting. It's the foam and, and the rubber here. Okay, very interesting. So last thing for me on the Torneo, um, would you say it's like a... Uh, narrow fit, like wide fit, what is your uh, perception there? Like sh if, if I've got a wider foot, is this a good option for me or, or is it more narrow? Uh, great question. I think in, in terms of the way Diodorus fit, the Torneo is our, our, our widest fit and uh, more, most forgiving fit. So if, if you have a wide forefoot or, you know, just a voluminous foot overall, the Torneo is a, a great, great option. Nice. And Diodora's done a really good job. The shoes look great for 2022, and we're excited to see what colorways are to come uh, into 2023. So next up, we've got the Fly, uh, formerly known as the Speed Blue Shield Fly, now aptly named just the Fly. So give us a little bit of uh, info on the Fly. Yep, absolutely. And so the Fly, it's, it's got this one-piece upper construction. Um, this is the shoe that jean Lunard Struff, a uh, big German, has been wearing for the past couple years. And it, it really provides a different feel than the Torneo does. You know, it still has that great Blue Shield uh, cushioning technology in the forefoot, but the upper is going to really hug and wrap the foot uh, in a different way than the Torneo does. So it provides a sleeker fit all across the foot and then um, with a really good reinforced upper as well. So you can see right here in the bunion window, there's three layers of TPU there. So anybody that's a heavy dragger as they're sliding uh, t to the baseline or, or, or side to side, this is gonna be a great option for. Now it's, it's not gonna be a narrow fit, but it is gonna be a little bit sleeker. And there's actually, if you look at the bottom here, there is a, a little bit of a window into that blue shield. So you can see those cones that I was talking about there. Oh, right. And then we've got reinforcement uh, TPU footbridge right here, right near the arch area. And then um, uh, uh, some additional eyelets up here to really wrap the foot and support the foot from heel all the way up through the toe box. So expanding a little bit on the fit just for a second, what does a shoe do, or what is a manufacturer trying to accomplish when they do the inner sock versus like a traditional tongue? Like what is the main goal? Because we're seeing that a lot with tennis shoes. Some of them are opting for a more traditional tongue and some are going like a half sock construction or even a full sock construction like on the fly. Sure. So what we wanted, what we at Deodoro want to do is, is provide a, a footwear option for every kind of player. And so, you know, somebody that doesn't want, uh, you know, a, a tongue to be wrapping around or, 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 or slipping throughout a match or just really wants something to, to feel like a glove, this is going to be a great option for. It. And so, um, you know, this neoprene upper isn't going to, to swell and expand the same way that, that some other materials on, on uppers might. Okay. Um, it's going to provide that same lockdown fit, you know, from your first hour on court to your 50th. 
Okay, very interesting. So now uh, we talked about the Torneo a little bit. Would you say this shoe has a similar ride? Like, does it sit higher, lower to the Torneo, or is it um, is it this, uh, the same? It's it's definitely on a lower profile. So okay. for a player that wants something that they're feeling the ground a little bit more, it still has great cushioning, but it, it is going to be more responsive, and you're going to feel the court underneath your body a little okay. bit more in this op in 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 this style. And then the last thing for me, just uh, personally, I really like kind of the translucent like aesthetics on the shoe. Is that the one piece upper construction that you were talking about that makes the dur the durability a little bit improved? So we've got that inner booty, that neoprene uh, booty here, and then externally we have this uh, this TPU shell, and that's where that's where the durability is going to come from. So that's it's going to be uh, abrasion resistant, and then also have external eyelets to really provide that lockdown fit. And it made it just made sense to me, like from an aesthetic standpoint, if you've got that, you know, full sock neoprene construction that you're protecting it with the one piece outsole. So it'll protect that neoprene from getting, uh, you know, torn up on the court. That was the only thing I was, I was bringing up. So in 2022, Diodora unveiled a new model. So in addition to the Fly, and in addition to the Torneo, they now have what's called the B Icon, which is the picture of innovation from one of the top companies uh, in tennis. So, Alex, what can you tell us about the B Icon? Yeah, so we have, a, we have a sport performance lab uh, at our headquarters. Our headquarters are in Carno di San Marco um, in, in Italy. And so this, this compound that they created, it's called DD Anima. And what it is, is it's a lightweight, it's a blend of a lightweight EVA and a proprietary compound from the rubber family. So it provides a really el elastic, responsive, uh, and cushy feel without, feel like in, without feeling like a marshmallow, like you're sinking into it and can't move. Um, so that compound was developed for our, our, our super racing flats, for, for uh, you know, our, our professional runners. And, okay. uh, what our R&D department was able to do was tune that, that compound to be great for a court shoe. So being great for north and south movement, but also east-west and, and being durable enough to, to take the pounding of uh, hours on, on the court. Very cool. So DD Anima, uh, when you compare it to, or well, actually, does is Blue Shield in the B icon? There is no Blue Shield in, in, in the B icon, okay. just that DD Anima. And it's, it's a full length DD Anima. The entire midsole is made of that compound. Okay. Um, so, you know, Blue Shield is going to be a much more uh, cushy feel, where I, I think the B icon feels much more like a, a race car, a, a performance match day shoe. Fair enough. So, those of us uh, that have worn the Blue Shield shoes in the past, if you're looking for something from Diodora that's very match day shoe, game day, lightweight, and maybe most importantly, close to the court, it would be the B icon. It's, it's our fastest option, lightest option, fastest option. Very cool. Can you talk a little bit about the, the a couple of things. So the shoe seems to have a little bit more of a narrow fit than the other two models. Um, and then the other standout for me uh, is sort of the high ankle collar in the back. And I'm just kind of curious, like what, what goes into that design? Um, is it, I mean, it, you said it a second ago, it's all about speed. Does that higher anchor co ankle collar give you a little bit more stability? So some features of the upper here are that, that extended heel that, that uh, Sam talked about here. So it's gonna come up higher on the Achilles. And what that does is that paired with the outer TPU unit here and the lacing system provides a really snug fit in the heel and the midfoot. And then we've got reinforcement overlays here all throughout the upper that comes up into the toe area. And then right here on the, the bunion area, and you can see it in all of our models, there's some three layers of TPU overlay there for, for extra durability. And you know when you put this on your foot, I think it feels unlike any other shoe on, on the market. It just feels fast. It feels like you want to get out there and spend time on the court. It's nice to see like Diodorus kind of expand a little bit. They've had the, the Blue Shield cushioning, which is a, I feel like it's, it's fair to say a heavier, very stable, but very plush cushioning underfoot. It's nice to see a shoe like the B Icon for those of us who need every bit of speed that we can muster on the court, uh, myself included. So uh, Diodora Shoes, uh, obviously a, a big time player on the market. And I expect to see more awesome colorways of the B Icon, Torneo and Fly as we go on into 2023.